Maigavan and Melanine, and well met indeed. I'm Arakea Galadirathan, the head of Divide and Conquer, and welcome back to Divide and Conquer as we continue on as the Vale of the Anduin, leading on exactly where I left off before. Just double checking the bits and pieces I missed in the north there. And we can end the turn and hope that Breer and Holt will survive one more turn. Now, the Easterlings and the Misty Mountains are not allied. That means we'll be facing each of those armies independently. They won't join together, which might mean that they take a little bit longer to besiege us. I'll have to just hope. We must make a stand. Nope. We the are Easterlings besieged. have come straight at us. So we're going to run the gambit again with Breer and Holt and try and defend it. And hopefully it's not going to crash a million times this time like it did last time. Ah, oh, the very eggs have canned. Are oh, trying to bribe me. Thranduil's Halls has been besieged. There it is. The choice is upon us. Do we side with the dwarves? Do we side with the elves? Given that we might need to attack Khazadum, I think we're going to need to side with the elves. Uh, would I prefer it with the aggressor? No. Dane's Halls will now, <laughs> unfortunately, probably become the target of the enemy's ferocity. Ferocity. They didn't ass assault Mount Gleowine either. Um, yeah, go on, you get a port as well. Let's get that money. For now, you gentlemen just move to Falkton. Train with those. Uh, with the amount of... Uh, if we train them, for now, get a unit of them, get a unit of them, get another unit of them, you four can also go to Falkton. We'll make camp. Yes, my lord. There is no glory in hiding like this. I want a this tower, one. I want a tower. Right, the elves are all now, s goodness gracious. I'm gonna stick you. Well, there's a strong chance that that might be their reinforcement army. Who are they, though? What are they? Shadow bows. He's got a shadow guard. Your orders, Quite my the lord. army. Yes, my lord. Austin Gar really hates us. Oh, dear, oh, dear, that's why. And it's going to be years before it's a proper town. We've got a mining network in Dane's Halls. Just giving us an extra thousand income per turn. That's very worth it. That is very worth it indeed. And Stellarberg just built something. Was it roads? Was it the port? Couldn't tell you. What does the Eastling army look like? Oh, they've got a lot of cavalry. And Khan Margos is part of it. Right, that will be a very simple victory. So the problem will come when these two and the Eastling mountains arrive. Because if Mordor besiege us, they'll all join in. So, we have to wait and hope. Waiting and hoping is what I do a lot in this Anduin campaign. It seems to be the only thing I can do. That's not laughter of joy, that's laughter of worry. Why are we the invasion target? We're not even that good. I wonder if the invasion is set in the hard-coded files that we can't even play around with. If it's set to always favour the human over any AI target. Right, Lagthak comes. This is our first defence of Mount Gleowine and win battle. Let's pray that Mount Gleowine works better than Zagkala. We shall call this episode, therefore, the defence of Mount Gleowine. Or assault on Mount Gleowine. It leads less to the imagination. Oh, I've got a rubber. Why am I, why am I crossing it out? I'm very fond of pencil. I always write in pencil. Assault on Mount Gleowine. Start deployment. Welcome to the mountain. Welcome, brothers. Oh, they're miles away. Right, no. Gleowine yourself. You're going to be getting out of here as fast as you can because you're going to want to charge at the enemy. Do we want to send anyone else down here and attack the enemy? Can anyone hide anywhere? Well, they can. I wonder if they're allowed to even in a city battle. This is a bit of a gamble, and if it doesn't pay off, we're scuppered. But I'm going to send all of them down there in the hope that they might... Oh, no, look, the enemy's right there. Are they going to be able to get down there in time? I don't think they will. Pause. 
Come down here, run down here. Clear wine, run yourself down there. Right, units in the main line. Don't be doing that now. Don't be doing that at the moment. We want to get quite near the bottom, so if we can group them up around here, the archers can then shoot down into this section. Is that 20? Ah, I thought that might be 200. How many archers have we actually got? We've only got a single unit of archers. Oh dear, this army is not built for this defence. Not at all. Then we will hold some, we'll hold many back in reserve. A few awnings as well. Some woodmen at the end there. And even more woodsmen at the top at the very end. Now, as many people have told me before, fighting on, the enemy fighting uphill has a massive disadvantage. So... We should have a huge advantage because they've got to just slog their way up this ridiculously steep hill. Uh, if you could all sprint to your locations. I'm really hoping they can they can disappear once they're in position. Help me out no end. Oh, they can. Yes, disappear men, disappear. Clearwine, they might come for you. They're, they're, you'll probably be a prime target. Here we are, standing ready. Should we actually do the tactic that makes pikes much stronger and group those two together into a single unit? Ah, the archers are firing as hoped. Ah, oh, there's the general's bodyguard. Are you a normal unit? Yes, you are. Glearwine! Strike! He's turned to face you as well. What a chump. We should be able to take the, the bodyguard out immediately. Where actually is the general? Is he one of these? If he's that guy, he looks way too similar to the unit that he's standing with. certain our men have slain the enemy general does defeat seem almost certain you pessimistic bastard we have the victory clearwine has already cut the head from the snake now every time the enemy charges us and we charge them they will be terrified now the rudor savages and the two the two units of scourge raiders are the real threat here Leewine keeps hitting and running. Anything you can do to whittle them down. Where is the bulk of their army? Why are they all coming in dribs and drabs? Oh look, there's the Scourge Raiders. Changes in the course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. Yeah, they went all the way around there, weirdos. Oh, there's the top, the plateau of Gundabad. The two dwarven statues. How much cooler would it have been if this had been a Dunharrow style settlement and it just had a snaking path climbing all the way up here and then there was a square with like a giant so the door was basically here suggesting that you have to climb up to the very peak of the mountain to then get into the mountain and then you'd be able to look down there like that and see the enemy snaking their way up past the two giant dwarven statues. That would have been far cooler and probably just as easy to do we'll never know I'm not really sure when to use the woodman warriors we've got hidden. I suppose we could get them closer now, couldn't we? Pray something changes in the course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. I really don't understand how they calculate that. 26% of them have died. Only 5% of us have died. The most of those are already verging on sort of tired or they're no longer fresh, let's just say that. Our entire army is fresh. 
They're nowhere near our town centre with our nice little flag. They're, what on earth is telling them that they're going to still win this? That's my question. And of course, as soon as we have lost, the, have, have lost, as soon as we've won this battle, I'm marching straight to Litash and I'm seizing that from these cowardly orcs. But they're fleeing as fast as they're charging. Right, I think now is a prime opportunity. Charge up the hill, charge up the hill, charge up the hill, charge into those. Glearwine, head over here. Hit into the back of there. Seems to be in our oh, does it? Swings to be swinging in our favour now, does it? You miserable bugger. We want to capture everything. Absolutely everything we can capture. They have lost half their men. Now the Scourge Raiders will fight on for some time. Oh, I've lied. The Scourge Raiders have given up almost immediately. <laughs> oh, the uh, wonders of the ability to ambush your prey. As long as nothing major is getting away, like 35 Scourge Raiders, that's a target. Not really bothered about a few goblin bands and bits and pieces over there. So who's still running away over here? Go and get those Orc Marauders. And then I'll probably just exit. We lost 8%, we killed 97%. That man is not on our side. The Orcs have been paying him off to just whisper in our ear how much we're going to lose over and over and over. You know what, screw it. Capture them all. Don't let anyone get away. I want every banner that we can get of these Angmar scum. Send them packing back to their false mountain. Mount Graham. The enemy are victory! Oh. This is a great victory worthy of oh. only the mightiest of generals. 151 of our men gave their lives and we slaughtered over 2,000 orcs. Mount Gleowine has once again earned its name and Mount Gleowine himself is now hands down the saviour of the north of Middle-earth. If it weren't for him, we would have been defeated. The ransom value is 8,961 for what we just captured. Ah, Angmar haven't got the money. They're not going to have even more money when we stroll into Litash and knock on the door for that. And our town stands strong. Oh, the dwarves have taken Thranduil's halls. Oh dear. Come on, Thranduil, get your men back. Get together. Get it together. Your orders, my lord. I'll keep your southern border safe. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. With honor. Oh, look, they're done. Tired the of men of Dorwinian are really coming out. Day. And the Easterlings have abandoned their siege of Brierenholt and have sodded off. Your will, my lord. Fascinating. My lord. Orders, my lord. Your will, my lord. As you wish. Orders. If we can hold on to Breer, and I definitely will. Also because it's our capital at this current time. But, um... Might as well chuck some buildings down for it as well. Why did the why did the Easterling army abandon and, and head north? I, I don't know. Okay. You and you are staying behind. Does it hate yes. us? No, it does not hate us. Yes, Clearwine the Noble is heading to Litash to make them pay for their mistake. Idiots. Cowardly fools. Now, I don't really know what to do down here. Should we do a little cheeky toggle fog of war and see how bad it really is for the men of Dolgaldor? Oh dear, it's terrible. It is absolutely abysmal. The elves of Lothlorien have taken Dorlingvar, not Thranduil. Thranduil himself has taken birth Southis. Achnodion has fallen. Lothlorien are very powerful indeed. Which is very pleasing, because that means it's, surely it's only a matter of time before they take Dol Guldor themselves. So as long as we keep a hold on Austin Gyle, we'll be alright. If Isengard take Rochberg, which they may well do, the Elves of Lorien might step in there and become the saviours of all of Middle-earth. 
otherwise it's it's all rather nice. Angmar, we're about to attack them. Are they going to be a problem for us? No. I think us attacking them might swing this in the Erud Lewin Bree. Oh, Bree have taken a Fornost. <laughs> well done, free peoples. Dunland are really pressing, though. Ah, the problems in Iriador lie to the south, not to the north. I wonder who ended Wyther at war with. Are they at war with Gondor? Yeah. Yes, they are indeed. Moot Lord Tremac with Herr Lewin of Pinneth Gellin. Oh no, Saruman. I'm gonna stick you. You're going to make the invasion last forever. Another reason why they need to be locked. Did we ever add that general? No, that's a version one. It's going well for the free peoples, this, this campaign, isn't it? It's going very well indeed. But I think that's all we can do for this end Your turn, will, so we I shall. Will. And we shall hope. If they don't besiege Breer and Holt, we've got a full body of reinforcements there. It's going well. Where are we going to get our victory from? I don't know, though. Dolgaldor now has no lands for us. Um, Rakuberg is an interesting we one. Stand vigil as the enemy ah, us. no, Mordor have attacked. Mordor and Misty Mountains are allied, so those two forces will come together. An Umberin fleet is on the move. Anorian's under attack. The Easterlings wane. They've not just been defeated, have they? No. I respect you. Margos remains their faction heir. That's very interesting that that can happen. It's a Teutonic feature only. But a Teutonic faction, their, if their leader dies, sometimes someone who isn't even the heir will get elected above the heir to become the next Boys. general. I find that very strange indeed. Joining forces, my lord. I'm gonna stick you. I could really do with a general governing By them. Your command. Your orders, my lord. And as hobbity as Falkred is, <laughs> you'll have to do. Right. We must yes, in, we lord. must do our part to ensure that Dolgaldor don't come back. So like Ostingar will be a key location. When or if we'll get Roscobel, I don't know. I don't want to go to war with Dorwinian. Equally, I don't want to go to war with the dwarves, but I don't really see any other way of getting Rakuberg from them. Your orders, my lord. As you command, just go and knock prevail. on Angmar's door. Teach yes. them a lesson. We'll show them. We'll make them pay. Marriages around, and of course Casadum as well. We need this town back. We might be able to buy them back toward the end if we just sort of wait now. If we sort of hold up and um, just wait for a moment. Wait a few turns. Don't Stop don't queue here. any buildings now. So anything building, let it build. Anything not building, leave it. So you get rid of that, and you get rid of that. And we'll just gather up about 10 grand, and we'll try and buy Rakuberg, and try and buy that one. And maybe even buy Roscobel, actually, because we... Um, which culture are we? We're middlemen, aren't we? Or No, we're Northmen, surely, because we're the original Northmen. I don't even remember. Where's a barracks, this one? Northmen culture. Yes, so we share the same culture as Dorwinian. So Roscobel will like us if we can buy it off them. I don't want to bribe it. I just want to actually buy it. I will purchase it from them. But we'll end the turn again, because that's all that we can do. That's annoying about Isengard, the invasion will never end. Although it's not actually annoying, is it? Because the invasion will never end. So we will never have another invasion target. We won't have to worry about this ever again. Which actually is quite good. Quite pleasing. Right, Mordor is still besieging it. I don't know if we're going to be able to hold that lot off. That might be the final straw in the coffin. And the final straw in the coffin? The final nail in the coffin. The final straw. Oh, we've got a lot of generals there, haven't we? Have Dunafell with the army there. And he's slowly creeping back to Dol Guldur. I'm gonna stick you! Huamath. Huamurath. I am a warrior, not a diplomat. Oh, here come Dolwinian. Why are Dolwinian heading towards our castle? 
kindly sod off. Yes, my lord. Approach. What is it you wish to discuss? Oh, Northern Dunedain. Map information, map information, which fancy. I do not believe I They rejected map information. This. Why can't I be allies? You're allied to the Orcs of the Misty Mountains. Good day to you. What are... Um, excuse me? Well, I'll never. I never. They've allied with the Orcs of the Misty Mountains. Without question. No, I bet the Orcs came to them begging for peace. Absolutely down on their knees couldn't ask for it any more than they were than they were and the northern dunedain have given in a complete break of the law but of course there are features of the game that will always be breaks of the law the very game itself is a break of the law let's be honest gorgash the brave chieftain yaglug oh dear hordes and hordes and hordes and hordes and hordes Oh, right. Well, unfortunately, uh, I was hoping they would just give me one more turn because I don't have time in real life to fight this battle. So that will actually have to end this episode, I'm afraid. I'll have to save it there. I've got to go out. So um, I could squeeze one in. It was a gamble. I'm running out of time, you see, before I go away. So I'm having to record these whenever I can. And um, that's why I've had to record this one. But I do not have time. So I will, unfortunately, have to save that there. And that will end this episode. So thank you very much for watching, if indeed you have. Do stay tuned, because of course, episode 25 now will be the third defence of Breer and Holt. And hopefully, another successful victory. It's not entirely against us. We've got the hills, we've got the time. We could try and hold at the square and really help wait it out, but we will see. So thank you very much for watching, if indeed you have. Again, I am still away, but we are now closing in. I will now be, in two weeks' time, I will be recording the videos fresh again, back and home. So, do stay tuned for that. But for now, dear friends, and until we speak again, Navar and Aden Pedimad Melunin, and farewell.